For Australia, we can smash it, no problem. We can suck almost as much carbon out of the air as we dig up. It's on the order of gigatons. If we were to fully invest and integrate our agroecological systems in this country, we could do wonderful things for the world. I'm convinced of it. That doesn't mean we can keep digging and, and burning. It means we need to start drawing down. And, and you know what? International governments like Japan and Korea and ultimately China, they're going to they be looking for places to put carbon. And we have a, a beautiful carbon bank in this country that's never been filled in a long time. And especially under our agricultural soils, uh, we really can go for this. So filling up a soil carbon bank uh, is, is really a wonderful opportunity. Protecting the existing soil carbon bank is a really important thing to do. Soil carbon has a huge stock. There's more carbon in our soils in the world than the atmosphere, at least two times more, and four times more than all the plants in the world. But most of that carbon is locked away and been there for a long time. And that's soil carbon. Of course, we know about hydrocarbons like coal and oil and gas, and there's plenty of that that we really can't burn. Then there's CO2 in the atmosphere, and there's already too much. The what question of carbon is all these different types, and we need to think about it in the cycles. And so we're pulling mostly fossil carbon out of the ground and putting it up in the atmosphere as CO2. Now plants pull that back down, and amazingly, the gross primary productivity of the planet overwhelms our human emissions by an order of magnitude, um, and the oceans do more again. And so uh, we are, you know, altering the planet, but the nature's cycles are huge. So in agriculture, we really have the ability to enhance those natural cycles. Agriculture has a big opportunity to reduce emissions, mostly in these non-CO2 greenhouse gases, but also loss of soil carbon is, is a big problem. So to stop the negatives and start the drawdown, there's two opportunities. Agriculture can switch from being part of the problem to part of the solution. So I'm most excited about that part. So the where is agriculture, but it's equally also ecosystems. And we have this old battle between uh, nature and agriculture, and we need to join forces with our colleagues that are restoring ecosystems and restore agro-ecosystems for the above ground carbon, which is the capture part in the plants. And importantly now, we're starting to recognize the soil carbon, the roots and the carbon in the soil as, as a, a store, both below agriculture soils and ecological soils, and that they can work together to be a sink. So we can restore uh, and regenerate agriculture, restore ecosystems, regenerate agriculture, and provide resilience for food security, environmental security, and climate security. Agriculture is the best place to generate renewable energies. We put up wind turbines and we can do solar and we can store that energy with small water cycles, pumps, hydro. We need to get our water systems reorganized for the land systems and the solar system drives the biological system. So it's all part of integrating uh, renewable, regenerative, restorative and resilient ecosystems.